there's a couple of things that you need to know about this drone before we go into the color grade. One of those things is that it shoots in a baked in picture profile. What that means is that you only get one color profile to work with and you can't change that. For me who likes to work with colors, who like to work with different color ranges, this gives me a bit of a challenge and I love it because first of all, you really don't have to do too much to this. Like if you wanna just take the footage out of this camera and use it right away, you can. But for me, I like to play around with the colors. I like to mess around with it. I like to make it look as cinematic as possible. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I go about doing that within DaVinci Resolve. Now, it doesn't matter what software you're using. You can basically do the same thing, whatever software that you have. I'm going to be showing you the basics of how to go about making it look good and the simple trick that I use to give it more of a cinematic look. So let's jump right into it. All right, so welcome to my DaVinci Resolve page. I've already gone ahead and brought in the footage that I'm going to be using for this tutorial. I'm going to be using this particular clip right here. This one right over here, it just goes and it tilts up a little bit right there. If you're not used to DaVinci Resolve, uh, please check out some other videos here on my channel. Or if there's any specific questions that you have about DaVinci Resolve, please leave it down in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to answer any questions that you have. Let's go over here to the color page. Once you get to the color page, you're going to see this right here. It may be different for you depending on what you've been doing or what you what your computer screen looks like. What I'm going to do right here, as you can see, this is what the footage looks like, right? The first thing you want to do is pick a hero frame. A hero frame gives you an idea of everything that's going on for a particular clip within your video. So for this one, I'm going to try to get as much of the bottom area over here and as much of the top area over here. And I think right here is where I'm going to park it. So I'm going to work with this right here. Over here, we have the node structure. The first thing I'm going to do is come over here to the curves and play around with it a little bit. You can definitely use your scopes over here. I'm going to use the RGB parade. As you can see, our reds a little bit blown out and our greens, but that's because we have this right here. Right. Don't worry about that too much. I'm going to bring the highlights down a little bit because I don't want it all the way up there. So let's bring that down a tad. Right. Uh, I think that looks good right there. With this footage, you don't have to play around with it a lot. You can just do the simple things to get it to where you feel like it looks good in your eye. So I'm just going to play around with this a little bit. I like what it's doing there. Let's see the shadows. We need to bring the shadows. Yeah, we can leave the shadows right about there. And that's all you need to do for this part of the clip, right? I'm going to open up another node. If you don't know how the node-based structure works, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll let you know a little bit more information about the nodes. On the second node, I'm only going to touch the contrast. So let's play with the contrast. Let's see what that does. And that gives it a little bit of pizzazz. Let's play around with the pivot point. Uh, pivot point. I'm going to move you a little bit over here and we're looking all right. Let's see what we've done so far, right? This is what we've done so far. The issue with the footage from the DJI Mavic Mini 2 is that it doesn't have much dynamic range. So if I was to reduce the highlights over here, it would affect the entire image because there's not much dynamic range throughout the entire thing. So a way around that is to use your power windows or use the gradient filter depending on what system you're working on. On DaVinci Resolve, I'm going to create another node right here and then I'm going to come over here to the power windows and I'm going to work with the bottom part of the footage first and then work with the top part of the footage second. So on this node, I'm going to work with the bottom part of the footage here. So let me put that right there and then I'm going to play around with this until it fits the way I want it to fit. And if you come up to the top here and click on this wand right here, it's going to, this is the highlight wand. It's going to show you what part of the footage has been affected. And this is exactly what I want. I just want to affect the bottom part of the footage. Now, once I have this highlighted right here, what I want to do with this particular footage is just lift up the shadows a little bit on the bottom and also increase the particular colors. And the way I'm going to do that, simple, come over here, shadows. You don't want to lift it up too much. Yeah, that's a little bit. So I'm just gonna put it right there. I'm gonna park it right there. 
and then I'm going to come over here to my hue versus saturation. Make sure that it's on the qualifier. Come over here to this part. I'm going to click right here on the water because I want to push up those colors. So I'm going to lift that up right there. And we can see what this node has done if we just come over here and click. Let's click. Let's see what that did. That's without, with, without, with. Right? See the little subtle difference that has done over there. And I'm going to leave that right there and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put a gradient filter on the top. What I can do is come over here to add node and add an outside node, which is if you see up here, it's just going to affect the top. If I add an outside node, it's going to affect this part of the image right here and everything that I do over here is going to affect here. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to add node, add a new serial node. And, and again, I'm going to put a power window, but I'm just going to avoid this corner right there. All right. And once you're done again, click the highlights, see what part of your footage has been affected. That's the part I want to affect. Right. So once that's done, I'm going to play around with it until I get a look that I like. Personally, I love shooting sunsets and sunrises because of the colors you get in the sky, right? Look at the beautiful, vibrant oranges, the reds. So I want to push that up. I want that to be the main focus of the image. So what I'm going to do is over, come over here to gamma. I'm going to lift up my gamma a little bit, right? I'm going to come over here, add some contrast again, just to give it a little bit of a pop, add some contrast just to the top right there. I'm going to come over here to my curves hue versus saturation filter click on the sky let's see what points it gives me i'm going to raise that point a little bit let's see what that does and that's looking nice i actually want a point right here as well too so i'm going to put a point in by myself i'm going to lift that just to give a little bit more orange to the sky let me put this full screen so we can see the full effect so this is with without with without with without and you see the little subtle things that we did to the footage makes it look that much better and there you go that's how you go about color grading the footage that you get out of the dji mavic mini 2. if this video has brought you any value please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel as this goes a long way to making sure i produce more content like this until next time make sure you stay safe make sure you stay coloring and i'll see you in the next video bye